today it's FL Studio versus Reaper. Now, I think we all know where I stand on FL Studio by now. However, Reaper is slowly winning my heart. I kind of wish it was something I took note of sooner. Right when you first click on the 60-day free trial, the devs say, hey, use this and enjoy it. And just please buy a license after 60 days or stop using it. No restrictions, fully functional. A great mixer, an okay piano roll, and way better routing than FL. I love the playlist on Reaper. Recording and comping is great. You can switch from MIDI to a straight up sheet music layout. I feel like Reaper is severely overlooked. Probably because of its really steep learning curve and slightly dated appearance. I mean, if the look really bothers you that much, it's highly customizable. You can change this DAW as you see fit. There are tons of templates to download. So contrary to popular opinion, I actually like the way Reaper looks right off the bat. Yes, it kind of has a bit of an old school look, but it's so neat and everything is accessible via shortcuts. Unfortunately, Reaper doesn't come with much in the form of VSTs, however, it does have VST support. The stock VSTs have a very plain and simple interface with no good looking visuals to speak of. The shortcuts on here are plentiful though, and I know FL Studio has them too. Do not confuse the limited synths and VSTs with a lack of functionality because Reaper can do it all. FL Studio looks great and has a very eye-catching UI. Everything is in various windows, so it can start to feel cluttered or annoying having to constantly open various windows, especially if you're coming from a more linear, straightforward DAW setup. The first thing you will notice is the channel rack, a step sequencer that makes programming loops really easy, and it plays a big factor in the popularity of FL Studio among beat makers and producers. FL Studio's piano roll is the best I've used so far. Going from FL Studio to another DAW and using the piano roll feels super clunky. And I can say that's how I felt in Reaper. It just didn't have the ease of use that FL Studio has. Though I would chalk it up to them not being as beginner friendly as FL Studio's piano roll from what I've read on obviously the most important source of info, Reddit. Um, even the piano roll is customizable in Reaper. So FL Studio now not only supports stem separation, which to me is a huge deal, it is also able to master your tracks for you. FL Studio, unlike Reaper, comes jam packed with top-notch synths and effects plugins. So although Reaper is the cheaper of the two, you're getting way more in terms of content and VSTs with FL Studio. However, both programs are seriously really solid. Reaper will have everything set up in individual tracks when you open a new instrument. Immediately, it will assign it to a mixer channel common VST things. FL Studio is free for all. I could make a whole track in the channel rack and never have it touch the mixer or the playlist. I could have everything in one track in the playlist. I could link everything to one mixer channel. It's chaos and it's beautiful. Though what most FL users miss is that you can actually add plugins via the playlist and they will auto assign to the next empty mixer slot just like in Reaper. But you know, we come from using the channel rack 
it's just like, <laughs> why would I do that? Um, random side note, in Reaper, I can just press V and have my volume automation immediately appear under the corresponding MIDI or audio track. I wish FL Studio would do this. Maybe it can do this and I just don't know about it. So if it can, just let me know in the comments. I, I really need that feature. The price. Guys, Reaper's price and just the, just the devs of Reaper are amazing. Reaper will cost you $60 for the discounted license for the full version of the software. There are some conditions, but they are more than reasonable. So thanks to the devs for making music making affordable. Though, if you don't meet the previous requirements, you can purchase Reaper at $225 which in the DAW landscape, that is still really affordable. FL Studio comes in the Fruity Edition at $99, just rather get Reaper, seriously. Then there is the true entry level version, which is the Producer Edition, and it's really the true experience minus a few plugins, and that comes in at $200. Signature Edition has a few extra plugins at $300 and lastly the All Plugins Edition at $500. You are getting a lot out of these DAWs. Reaper is good with everything music related out of the box but lacks plugins, no VSTs, to, well, no good VSTs to speak of, sorry Reaper, um, no samples. If you play an instrument and record, you're gonna love Reaper. If you are looking for one of the best beat maker and sound design experiences and literally the most affordable DAW of the bunch, then FL Studio is for you. Let us know where you stand and for more videos like these, hit like and subscribe. Also, have an amazing night.